The Kingdom of Bahrain Handicap is next. Uh, it's another one of these small field races. We've just got four this time. And it's a two mile one furlong not to 70. And Little Miss Whoosh is at the top for Martin Little. Tamin Innes for Stu Gray. Divine Blessings for Satyam and Pavonis for Stu Gray. So Stu Gray's got a 50% chance of winning this one. And Satyams will probably go off in the lead. So we need a commentator. Anyway, away they go. And it's t Little Miss Whoosh and Tamin Innes. We've got a dispute the lead, it would seem. Stu Gray's got two in it. One's a grey and one isn't. So that makes it nice and easy even for the likes of me so divine blessings it is then who's going to take them along for Satyam and then three in a line for the commentary team so divine blessings it is then who's gone on to a two length lead then there to Pavonis in second Tamin Innes is in third and then Little Miss Walsh is fourth Stu Gray's got a good chance of winning this got two in a field of four I'm pretty sure there's a jump race today where he's got the only two runners so Really strange week, runners wise. Anyway, it's Divine Blessings is in the lead by a couple of lengths to Pavonis in second. Little Miss Woosh is third, and the grey Tamininis on the outside is fourth. And it seems to be going particularly fast, so it's probably going to get tactical towards the end. Divine Blessings is in the lead and seems to be steady enough in front, leading by about two and a half lengths to the Stu Gray Pierre, Pavonis and Tamininis and then Little Miss Woosh just tucked in behind in fourth and they're down past the 11 furlong pole now then if there was one there would be anyway <laughs> just divine blessings in front by two to Pavonis in second and Tamininis in third and comes Little Miss Woosh on the outside now Remains pretty much the same. With Divine Blessings clear in the lead. By about two lengths to Pavonis second. And Tamin in his third. And then Little Miss Woosh is the back marker of the four. So just two more weeks to go in, in this season after this. And the new season will be upon us. Fairly quickly, I think, in February. So, time to get your stable sorted. And Divine Blessings continues to show the way by two. Do Tamininis in second. Little Miss Woosh has now gone past Pavonis into third and relegated Pavonis to the back spot. The handicap could play a part in this ladder, of course. Little Miss Woosh, the top weight. And Pavonis, the bottom white, the, the bottom white, the one that's struggling at the back at the moment. So they're inside the final five furlongs, and Divine Blessings is the leader. Top white Little Miss Woosh has now moved into second, past Tamininis and Pavonis. Somewhere drift back in fourth. There's time enough yet, and Satyam's Divine Blessings is trying to make every post a winning one. Little Miss Woosh now goes into. Hot Pursuit in second, Tamininis back in third, Pavonis back in fourth. They come down towards the final two and a half furlongs. And Divine Blessings in the lead, Little Miss Woosh and Tamininis trying to get closer. But Tamininis is the one that's making the ground at the moment. Divine Blessings seems to be comfortable enough in the lead. There's a furlong and a half to go. And it's Divine Blessings in the lead from Tamininis and Little Miss Woosh. Past the furlong pole they go, and Divine Blessings does look like it's stopping. And Tamininis and Little Miss Woosh don't look like they're catching him. And Divine Blessings is going to take this one pillar to post pretty easily. Divine Blessings another one for Satyam. Tamininis is second, and then Little Miss Woosh third, and Pavonis a long way back in fifth. So another one for Satyam, Divine Blessings the winner. Little Miss Woosh was not second, it was sat second was Tamininis for... Stu Gray, third was Little Miss Wooshamite Lidham and Pavonis for Stu Gray was fourth.